Of all the places on Earth, there aren't a lot of them where you can observe the curvature of the ocean. You sure can't do it from my house here in Arizona. And maybe that's why most of us live in our little flat worlds. Here south of Cape Town, South Africa, there's a bay called False Bay that's about 20 kilometers or a little more from side to side. And over on the west side, we've got a flat area at Fish Hook that divides the Muizenberg Mountains, Muizenberg Mountains, from the other ones on the south. And if we observe from this area near Steenbras Nature Reserve, the Cliff Springer Hiking Trail, maybe we can see that uh, fish hook plain, whether it's connected, whether it's connecting those two mountains or whether they look like islands. Let's start up at the top where a nice hiker has given us a few photos. We can look across the bay. Unfortunately, the plain to the w east is obscured, but what we can see is that the horizon is beyond uh, that fish hook and the surrounding mountains. I think this blue, the top of the blue line is our horizon. That's possibly sky. Um, and we can see that horizon beyond, behind the mountains here. And the actual fish hook area is right here. And we again can see the horizon behind there with poor visibility, but it's behind this fish hook area. I'll zoom out a little bit and make a screenshot of that so that we can compare it with the view from a little bit lower down, maybe near the beach. Uh, I'm not sure how much, well, let's just go ahead and take a full width view. We can actually see a little bit of the plane over there to the east side. And I'll drag this upward and then let's go down near the beach and see what we can find. The visibility is always more poor down here because of the haze of the ocean. But we can see the same mountains. We can see the fish hook area. Except uh, it looks like we've got an island out here arising from the ocean. Uh, not much I'd want to focus on there. This is a good area to focus on because it appears that this mountain is arising as an island from the ocean. And this is disappearing into the ocean. Let's bring up our screenshot and see how the scales compare. Looks like we're kind of lucky. The scales are similar. So let's move the fish hook over so that it's aligned. We can barely see that, that very low lying fish hook uh, area. We see the mountain come down, have a little bit of a, well, we can see the low lying plains. Down here, we don't see the mountain too well. It's barely sticking up above the ocean and then it disappears. Over on this side, we've got this um, bluff that comes down and has this littler peak, but it kind of just disappears into the ocean. Maybe we can see that peak appear again. Maybe not. This uh, ocean curvature in this false bay is hiding uh, the fish hook area and even part of this this mountain. 
It's not easy to find places where you can observe the ocean's curvature like this, but I've found this one for you so you can easily observe it in Google Street View. Please like this video and leave a comment if you think you've found the perfect place to observe the ocean's curvature using Google Street View. Thank you.